Hello everybody. Today we're going to see how I draw Nara. So let's start out with a quick sketch just so I know where she's going to be. And make sure I get all the detail because these are some really cool characters. And I want to make sure I get everything. Alright, and then there's a big rope right here. Followed by big knots on the end. And there's some really cool design in these. Not that everything isn't cool designed before. But there's just something about these characters I really like. I really connect with, I guess. Okay. There's that. I think it's just that's what it is. It's design, you know? And that's what attracts us to all these characters, is just the cool style and design of them. Because... It's uh, somebody's job to make this look good. And somebody's doing a really good job, right? So I'm going to have her head kind of slightly tilted. Like this. Just, And that's what I'm trying to do for design. Just trying to do something kind of fun and a little different. So rather than straight at you, I'm... I'm uh, doing a little different making it a little little bit my own you know and I'm just look stepping back and looking at everything making sure that I'm happy with the uh, shape and form and then we're gonna get started so actually I need to make sure that's right and then we can get started here Okay, I think I'm happy with this. Yep, shape looks good to me, so I'm going to switch over to some Sharpies. You're welcome to continue with a pencil, but I'm going to go with a Sharpie, or you may be starting just now with a Sharpie like I am from the very beginning. I'm going to use a, a fine point Sharpie, which is pretty thick, and then a Sharpie pen for the finer detail. And I'm going to start with the Sharpie pen real fast because I want to make sure I get the eyes right. Because um, look, my sketch isn't even right. I'm going to make sure I go up like this and like that and I'm going to make it a little thicker right here in the middle and thin at the edge so I got to do the same thing over on this side it's going to go like this and just a hair thicker in the middle that's it and there are other detail that I'm going to add later on with color so for now just know that there is a bubble right here a red bubble right here and then there's a line kind of almost doing the same thing uh, on her face uh, like the eyes are but again you'll see at the end what I do in color maybe that'll explain a little bit more so for now let's just keep going so I'm not going to connect the horns I'm just going to kind of start like this start like that and then I'm going to go up for the horns up like this and boop, connect it like that the reason I'm not doing that is because they, it's all white and because it's white I kind of want it to stand out a little bit so I'm going to do the same thing here like this, and I want it to look like it's all white, so I'm going to do that and come down and do it like that. So now uh, I could do the rest of her head, and I think I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the uh, Fat Sharpie for that and just uh, go from here. So let's draw the rest of her head. So I'm going to bring it around like this. Follow it down. Well, the mask is actually what this is, like that. I'm going to bring this around and connect it right there. And then I could draw the rest of the detail. So she's got a little bit of hair on this side like that. A little bit of hair on this side like this. And then there is um, a little piece of rope holding it all together there. And then... 
um, oops, I forgot the cap. And then uh, her hair is all pulled back like this. And again, I'm just kind of using style and technique to, well, look, I'm using a fat Sharpie, but it's coming out pretty, pretty thin. So I'm going to press a little harder to do that. Okay. So now let's work on our, her collar and clothes. So I'm going to bring her uh, shirt up like this. And I'm going to loop it around like that. And then here, I'm going to go out like that. And this one kind of crossed over that. So now I know where her neck's going to be. So I can draw her neck down in here like this. And then draw her shirt. And she has a uh, little um, uh, pieces of wood I guess is what it would be that's gonna uh, close her shirt here let's do this real fast so you're not confused um, they're closing there so what I'm gonna do is draw them in like this draw them in like that and that's gonna close close the uh, inside of her shirt which is a V like that and we'll come back later on and add some more detail in a bit so we'll do this and these Sharpies sure are bleeding. Look at that. I'm going to keep going, but I'm not very happy with that. Sharpie, you need to work on that. There's something about this. is a brand new Sharpie, but it's still bleeding quite a bit. So we're going to keep going, and we're going to draw her uh, straps for her backpack. So I'm going to draw her shoulders like that. I'm going to draw her straps like this, real thin around it. Connect it like that, little hoops on the side. And then we're going to draw her... Uh, shoulders which are these cool little wispy things i'm not too sure what they are i had the same thing with uh um taro that i just i don't know what it is but it's the design that i really like so i'm just gonna keep drawing some fun stuff here that's like it's like a fur or something but it's got color too but i'm not gonna worry about that detail i'm gonna worry about that when i actually color it in so let's go ahead and draw the ropes in the front I'm going to do like this for the front of the rope. And I'm going to draw, uh, and we'll add the detail in a bit. I'll show you what I'm doing. And I'm going to draw another bump like this for the rope. And that's this one coming out like that. And draw a little circle and the knobs that are the ends of the rope like that. This one like this. And that's the end of that rope. And we're going to draw the rest of it going around her waist because that's what's holding it all together. And then I can draw the rest of her like that. There, that's her clothes. And then um, let's draw her arms since we know where those are gonna be too. So we're gonna come back here and we're gonna draw her sleeves like that. And then I'm gonna draw her arms into forearms and then here I'm going to do something a little bit different because uh, she has wraps on the front of her, her um, forearms underneath her little gauntlets that she has here. So since I know where that's going to be, I'm going to go ahead and draw the edge there and then draw like an elaborate gauntlet looking thing there. And here I'm going to come up and over and I'm going to draw like a little... Uh, elaborate detail of that right there and I'm going to draw this like that and then connect it here like that so for the forearms I'm going to kind of draw something like this and you'll see why in a second and for the wrists or the hands I'm going to draw a big piece of the glove like that then I'm going to do my infamous knuckles T like that up 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 okay so we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to come down into the forearm, down into the forearm, and stop. And then I'm going to draw her detail of that. I'm going to come draw this. I'm going to draw it like that. Draw this little elaborate little detail thing that we'll color in later. So for the forearm, same thing. I'm going to do that weird little thing like this. And I'm going to do pretty much the same thing over here. I'm going to draw the big 
part of her uh, glove right there. I'm going to draw a thumb in. T. Out. Up. 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 And that's going to take care of her knuckle. So, real quick, I'm going to add a little bit of detail. And I'm going to um, just come back real fast and hit a few of these things. So let's draw the detail in this since we got the Sharpie. And I'm going to go like that. Same thing here. I'm going to follow this up and back. And that's the inside, so you're not really seeing that. Um, same thing here. She's got a little bit on the inside of this. That's that detail. Um, let's go ahead and do the rope. And the rope is real easy. Since I've messed up and got lines there, I'm just going to work with that. That's my rope. I'm just going to draw a line. It's almost like a candy cane. That's the best way to look at rope. It's kind of like a candy cane. Okay. And then you just kind of like take pieces of it and just loop it around like a candy cane. That is the end, so we're not going to worry about that. So the forearms, what I was telling you is it's wrapped with a, a wrapping, or binding, I guess. So basically, I'm just going to take those little digits that I did, and I'm going to kind of connect them like this to make it look like they're wrapped up. So I'm going to do that, 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 that. Connect it like this. And let's see, I didn't connect it right here, didn't connect it right there, so I'm going to add those little connections. And I think that's good. There's some more elaborate detail on her sleeves, but I'm going to come back and take care of that with color. So let's continue with the big Sharpie. So I'm going to draw her skirt. This part actually is, I guess it's her jacket. It hangs down over the skirt. So I'm going to draw that real quick like that. And there's like those little fringy things that are down at the bottom of that. Okay, and I'm going to do one over here too. And go ahead and draw the edge before I do the fringy part. And that's all it really takes. A lot of times you imply stuff. It doesn't have to be all detailed in there. And then her skirt. Like that. And we're going to go ahead and draw her legs, which are very, very detailed uh, with these ornate um, legs. I mean, I, I, I thought they were shin guards, but I guess maybe it's her legs completely. Um, I'm going to do this. And then there's like a little elaborate detail and go around like this. So same thing over here. Let's draw the back of that. Okay, so let's draw the shins. Down here like this. Down here like this. And uh, see, I'm missing some spots, so let's just draw in that detail. Let's kind of hide a few things. Hide our mistakes, as Adam Savage likes to say. So let's um, draw her cuffs on her uh, legs right here. They're these big, um, detailed little, I want to call them triangles, but they're not quite triangles, right? this and there are um, protectors over her feet that look like this so the front look is pretty much almost like that you know because that's the way you see it from the front okay so now I can just go ahead and draw in her foot because you can't really see much there like this and she's standing on wooden blocks, which are like Japanese traditional shoes, right? I think I'm saying that right. I could be wrong, but hey, it's not about being wrong or right right now. Okay, so I'm gonna add just a few little more details. I wanna add just a little bit of look to uh, um, her uh, ornate legs here, just to give it that, uh, That look of, of detail. Okay. So next we'll color it, but I think for now, that's Nara. 
So here is my colored version. You could do it however you like. I just thought I'd show you how I decided to color it. If you'd like to color it like this, you can always pause the video here and use the coloring techniques that I used, or you can just make it your own. Remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button to be updated about each new video.